This is Totalink Wi-Fi Extender X300. We can see on the front case there is Wi-Fi signal light, extending light, LAN port light, the reset WPS2 in one button. Here is the LAN port. On the right side there is a power button. On the back of the case there is a detachable power plug. We can press the, the button here to take it off. Then we can change the different power plug. Adjust to the antennas. Then press power button. Keep an eye on the lights. Then wait for a while. When the Wi-Fi light turns solar, extender is ready. First, we need to press WPS button on the router. Then press WPS button on extender. Look at, at, look at the extending light. OK. Then wait for a while. When the extending light turns solar, our extender has already caught the SSID of the previous router. Totalink ES300 has remember function. It can remember the SSID so we can take it off and bring it anywhere around your house. Then we can take ES300 to anywhere around your house as you like. Power in. Then look at the status of the lights. Wait for a while. When the Wi-Fi single light and extending light both solar, it means the router's Wi-Fi signal has been extended successfully. You can enjoy your Wi-Fi now. In case we want to repeat another router, we need to reset our extender first. Press the reset WPS2 in one button. Look at the extending light. Okay, then wait for a while. Keep on watching the stickers of the lights. Okay, now our extender has turned back to factory default setting. 